What's up everybody, Dr. Thin Man here. Yeah, I had somebody that uh, was asking me about this, and apparently I haven't made a video on it. They are asking me about my reverse that I put on my uh, little machine shop uh, mill. The, let me get that out. 3990 high torque mini mill. I decided to put my switch just up here so I can do, uh, like when I'm doing power tapping, stuff like that. I can go down and then just reverse it and go back up. I think you already know all that. So I figured I'd make a, a video on it and do that. So pretty much, uh, if y'all saw like from like one of the other videos where I put the lights on it, worked out really good. You can get the ones, uh, uh, I believe they go like on microscopes, and they actually will fit a little bit better up under here. And they just go just around the spindle here. But as you can see, going one direction, flip my switch here, and I go the other direction. And it literally just plugs in because this the way they got their box even the box on the back back there is exactly the same as the inside of this right here all the knobs and uh, all the part numbers match up just like on this now put the switch I go in reverse. And like I said, I, I at first I, I was I, I was looking online and found people they found something back in the box back there and hooked into there and then ran all their cords and wires and whatever all through here and into here. And I got looking at it, so I ended up taking this thing apart. And I literally took the switch out of this one, plugged into this one. So like I said, the boxes, like the or the panel on the inside is exactly the same. I'm going to take that back. I'm not 100% sure right now. I can't. I'm not positive, but they're very similar. Let me put it that way. And it ended up working. So I went out and just bought the th the uh, the switch and a straight plug-in switch. So let me get this uh, side panel off, and I'll show y'all where I uh, plugged it up at. And of course you don't have to drill your own hole. You can put it pretty much wherever you want. Uh, after I get it open you'll see you can put it on top if you want to. Put it on the side. Or you can line it up here. Wherever. But let me get this thing open and I'll be right back. And yeah, I'm back. Uh, first thing you want to do. Make sure you unplug it. Don't have it plugged in. I don't think you'll get shocked in this doing it this like going in here and doing this but it's just a safety thing as you see here's my like where my switch was at or is at on the inside of here uh, it's just the the first one you'll plug it into like I said it's just a simple little pull in pull out uh, I'll get the part number for y'all in just a just a little bit to to this one. Sorry about the camera work. It's a little off right now. <laughs> a little tired. But yeah, it's just a simple. Just and like I said, it's just that the very first one. There won't be anything else plugged into it, so it's fairly easy. Clip that in there, and and like I say, you'll have to drill your hole in it. Uh, I think the reason why I put mine on top is because I didn't have anything up in here that it would hit. I have seen some people they uh, will put it like I think in the fault one, either the fault or this one, like right here, just so they have it up front. But I didn't want that. Of course, you can put it on top because there's. Like I said, it's unplugged. I use a good bit of room. I get my 
pretty much all hand in there when it's like that. So, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And then just uh, you just orientate it however you want. I think I might actually flip mine the other way to where uh, like I want to come uh, out with it. It flips uh, uh, towards me or ain't uh, uh, from me. But I don't know. It's just a personal preference. Uh, get well, y'all can probably figure out like, the drill bit size. It's not really that hard. If you get the wrong one, just start small and work your way up. <laughs> but yeah, just doing like a quick little video here. You don't have to go into the the box in the back or anything. And one thing kind of uh, could work out, there is a way to hook a, uh, a regular like this uh, USB up to this, and, or you can hook into the uh, 12 volt, I mean not 12 volt, sorry, not 12 volt, but the uh, uh, 110. You can hook into that, and you can actually put just a plug back in here, because oh, from like pretty much yeah pretty much from about there down or from that whole little first hole right there down there's really nothing in there i just made a little bracket look up the look at the video that video is going to be the one with the lights I mean, you can put you a plug in there and then you can just have you just like a uh what do you call them like the gooseneck lights and you can have it where it just magnetically goes up under here or wherever that's an idea but if you hook up like I did, I have a 12 volt going in. And these right here are just some from, I think, AutoZone. Little cheap lights. But anyways, uh, I don't want to make this more longer than it really has to be. Just someone asked me the other day uh, how I did it. So I decided to just make a video on it. So to you, I hope this helps you. I hope you enjoy yours. And like always, y'all take it easy. And may God bless. Now let me get this thing back together. Real quick, I got to put back together. I almost forgot to ask y'all. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it. Maybe someone else uh, is curious about this. Uh, throw some comments down there uh, if there's something else you want to see or you see I've done on this that I haven't covered let me know I'm more than happy to make the, the video for y'all and if you haven't already subscribed <coughs> excuse me if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe I have a, a few more videos uh, that I got to get uploaded so Get ready for those. And again, I'll say it again. Like always, y'all take it easy. May God bless.